What's up peeps? Today we're going to be taking a look at how to dominate one of the most popular locations in Rebirth being Control Center. I'm going to be giving you guys a bunch of tips and tricks. This is not really like a jump spot video. I'm going to be going throughout the whole Control Center and just going over kind of like what I think and again how to dominate it. and at the end of the day you want to get lots of kills in Control Center, end up alive and with a Lodi. So let's jump right into this video. Tip number one that you need to understand is control center is going to be a pretty hot drop. So things are not always going to go as expected, right? And that being said, you require a lot of luck. And that means that if you get either a MP40 or a Welgen, which is what's OP right now in the ground loot, you better start pushing. And honestly, if somebody gets a Welgen and MP40 and you don't, well, that is just going to be unfortunate. And that's something you got to understand when you're dropping control center. A big part of it is about luck. Tip number two, if you drop with your teammates, you're more likely to stay alive and more likely to dominate that area. Area. So one thing that I always suggest is land with your teammates so that you guys can get a couple guns together and then you can start dispersing yourself around control center. So now let's start at where to drop. I see a lot of people like dropping on that top part. Oh my God, I just got sniped. So I see a lot of people like dropping on that topper, but I feel that is just a little bit too lucky. So the one that I like to drop is in this bottom section right here. The reason is because it gives you a lot of mobility to play with. So if you drop right here and there's somebody chasing, you can go through this door, exit out this one, go through this one and find a bunch of weapons here and there. So now that you've dropped here, first thing is first. First, you wanna find a weapon. If you don't find a weapon here, you go outside. Usually there's a bunch of weapons scattered around here. And if there's no weapon around there, usually you can find a couple other weapons around there now if there's no weapons here and there what you want to do is you want to rotate up i'm going to go building by building one of the things you want to make sure is there can always be a little rat hiding right over here so you just got to be uh, always make sure that there's nobody there and again it just peek this corner right here up through here you'll usually find a chest here chest loot that up and if not we'll go rotating into here here now you can usually find a couple weapons so that is usually the trajectory that i take while going through rebirth to kind of like warm up and start getting my weapons that i need so again now that we have a weapon let's take a look at the general game plan of things in rebirth uh, sorry control center now one of the most important things about control center when people are chasing you is always playing around doors and playing around corners because there's a lot of spots like i mentioned we're going to start with this part of the building and remember always checking up here next up when you're always going to go up there's maybe a little ratty camper right there and something you can do as well is you can actually hop on over here and you can actually hop on this ledge and actually go ahead and do a complete uh and crouch kind of like right there so you can always go ahead and if somebody doesn't see you uh you can actually be right here which is a little nasty spot you can go ahead and plate up over here it's just a little ratty spot that you can do and again remember sometimes people can actually camp in here so always make sure to check the corners and again obviously once you go outside remember always check the top and one of the cool things that i like to do to transfer over to that building if there's people camping there i don't open the door i do a quick little move jump on this railing jump on the top and then from here we're gonna go over here and now also another thing you want to make sure is you can jump from every single location up here but it can't be there you always have to drop in this little thing right here so again remember all throughout this whole area remember to always drop in that position right here and also here it's very very important because there's always a lot of people trying to chase you here if you drop from here to there you will actually die so what you got to do is from here you actually have to jump onto that rock and as you guys can see here we will be able to survive again if you jump here you will die as well as if you jump right over there now one of the little nasty things i want to show you that it works in every part of control center because there's a bunch of doors remember to always use doors to prevent visibility and this is one of the best places you can use so Let's say somebody's chasing you right over here. You start running up here and all you have to do is look through the door and click close and it'll close out. You can do that in every single thing and it's super important because again, the person behind you loses visibility. So from here, you can go passing, close the door and now you got either a chance to keep going straight or what I would usually do is I would jump down that window and usually if it's broken, the guy wouldn't even have any idea to where you went. So now let's go to this side of the building. Bottom side here is a place that I don't really like to be. If you're with your teammates, it's all good. The reason why I don't like to be is because there's one entrance, two entrances, three entrance, four entrance, five entrance, six entrances. There's just so many places that people can get you in here. Uh, so again, it's a good place to lose players around here, but again, not a good place to fight because you're shooting somebody and then somebody always comes and gets you in the back. So remember, when you're playing in control center, you always want to have a wall to your back so you know that that place is secure. Also from here, if you guys didn't know, you can actually jump up over here and uh, head over here. And again here, this is the location where we were at. I always like fighting 
fighting in this location because this location you only have to cover two angles so remember in control center you always have to want to find a place where you can cover two places at once and you're not getting shot from every single direction also remember when you're in this area always check this little corner especially when you're coming from here because there was this one time that this guy you can actually get up here and this is a little cheeky spot that people can just camp it out and wait for you so just always remember to check that out so once we're clearing out to here and everything like this is clear a bunch of you guys know but you can actually jump in this little light post right here and then you can go ahead and jump back up while we're going up remember always check the, the corners always check behind the doors rats can always camp there go ahead and check the stairs like this and again always check that position on top go ahead do a little head glitch here push up and then check that long angle from here you can peek all the way back here now a lot of people know about this position right here but one of the nastier ones that some dude apply you can actually mount right over here and this one is crazy especially when there's a crate right over here the guy on the other side won't even know what hit him and now that i've showed you a bunch of tips and tricks i can keep on going but what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna show you just some gameplay where i completely dominated control center got a bunch of kills just so you guys can see how my movement is the decision making i make and everything like that so hope let's jump right into that He's got a teammate up there. His teammates are at the bottom as well, left side. Are you there? In front of me, in front of me, in front of me! Oh, oh shit, yeah, Another team. Alright, yeah, it's kinda missed. This is my old one, but I got load out. Ah, I knew I was dead. What's up, Andrew? You're a bottle of Everclear. What the fuck is that? <laughs> 